The unification of Germany in the midst of the Franco-Prussian War changed Europe forever. Its creation importantly involved the annexation of the region known as Alsace-Lorraine, or Elsass-Lüttringen in German, which permanently damaged Franco-German relations. When thinking about Alsace-Lorraine, there is one question that is seldom asked. What was life like for the French people who already lived there? By French, I simply mean the people who lived in France prior to the annexation, not French-speaking people, since in these areas German was the dominant language. That said, whilst the majority of the annexed territory spoke German, that didn't necessarily mean that they wanted to join Germany. For the Germans, there was a lot of debate over what was to be done with their new territory. It was decided that the territory would be centrally run from Berlin as what's called a Reichsland, meaning that the Kaiser held direct authority there, although he did act through a governor. At first, Alsace-Lorraine had zero input into its own affairs, but by 1879 it had been granted some concessions. So for the average French person who lived in the region since before 1871, what changed? Well, in the immediate aftermath of the war, the people living there were given a choice. Leave within a year or become Germans, and of the 1.5 million inhabitants there, about 50,000 people left for France. The overwhelming majority of Alsace-Lorraine's population was Catholic, and it now being ruled mostly by the Protestant Prussians meant that there were going to be tensions. In the end, Catholics were barred from higher education, and their newspapers were heavily censored. This meant that from then on, the Catholics would have an extremely strained relationship with the German government. Hence why it's incorrect to boil resistance to German rule down to little more than Frenchmen not liking it. Whilst the cultural shock of being ripped away from France was unquestionably severe, the economic hit was absolutely massive. For example, Alsace produced more cotton textiles than the entirety of Germany combined in 1871, and it now being cut off from France meant that they had no more customers and that German textiles now faced tremendous competition. This competition to German textiles was so bad it was proposed that in order to mitigate this, Alsace be given to Switzerland instead, but shockingly, the Kaiser said no. So after 40 years, was the region fully integrated? Not really. Whilst the region had gained some autonomy over the years, its people wanted more. In 1913, German soldiers insulted the local population using the term Vakes, a derogatory term for the people of Alsace-Lorraine in what's called the Zabern Incident. This led to protests and the Kaiser Wilhelm II subsequently sided with the soldiers, which basically destroyed any loyalty the region had to the Empire. When the First World War broke out a year later, sympathies for France remained high. As such, army conscripts from Alsace-Lorraine were sent to the Eastern Front so that their divided loyalties wouldn't be tested. Furthermore, speaking French in public was banned and the people of the region were treated poorly since the government was worried about pro-French spies. And ultimately, after French victory in the First World War, the region was returned to France and the issue over who owned it was totally settled forever. I hope you enjoyed this episode and thank you for watching, and a special thanks to all of these patrons you see on screen for their generosity in supporting the show, and a particularly special thanks to James Bizonet, Party Boyko, Azarka Flash, Rob Waterhouse, Chris Wicker, Michael Reynolds, Thomas McGill, Gustav Swan, Winston Kaywood, Sky Chappelle, The Amusement Archives, Adam Harvey, and lastly, Raphael.